Welcome to Ija Stars The Mindset. You need to hear this if you're a history buff. Today, we're diving into the fascinating journey of one of the most mysterious relics in history, the Ark of the Covenant. Buckle up, because we're going from the ancient halls of King Solomon's temple to the highlands of Ethiopia. Our story begins with King Solomon, the wisest of Israel's kings, who is said to have built a magnificent temple in Jerusalem to house the Ark of the Covenant. According to the Hebrew Bible, the Ark contained the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, making it one of the holiest artifacts of the ancient world. Now, let's bring in the Queen of Sheba. The Kebra Nagast, an ancient Ethiopian text, tells us that this powerful queen journeyed from her kingdom in Sheba, modern-day Ethiopia and Yemen, to meet King Solomon. The two rulers shared a deep bond, and their union resulted in a son named Menelik. Picture this the Queen of Sheba arriving in Jerusalem with a grand procession, laden with spices, gold, and precious stones. King Solomon, known for his wisdom and wealth, welcomed her with open arms, eager to share his knowledge and learn from her as well. Their meetings were filled with animated discussions, intellectual exchanges, and mutual admiration. They dined together at lavish banquets, where they shared stories of their respective kingdoms. The Queen of Sheba was deeply impressed by Solomon's wisdom and the splendor of his court, while Solomon was equally captivated by her intelligence and grace. As they spent more time together, a romantic tension blossomed between them, leading to a courtship that would forever intertwine their destinies. Their union resulted in the birth of Menelik, a prince who would carry the legacy of both great rulers. As Menelik grew up, he learned of his divine heritage and decided to visit his father in Jerusalem. Solomon was overjoyed at the sight of his son and lavished him with gifts and blessings. But here's where things get really interesting. According to the Kebra Nagast, Menelik didn't leave Jerusalem empty-handed. Instead, he took the Ark of the Covenant with him back to Ethiopia. How did he manage that? Well, the text suggests that it was done with divine assistance. Imagine the journey. Menelik and his companions stealthily transporting the Ark across deserts and mountains all the way to Ethiopia. It's a tale ripe with adventure and mystery. Once in Ethiopia, the Ark found a new home and it didn't just fade into obscurity. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church claims that the Ark resides in the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion in the town of Aksum. The Church even appoints a guardian whose sole duty is to protect the Ark a role taken very seriously as no one else is allowed to see it. The story of the Ark's journey from Solomon's temple to Ethiopia is more than a historical account. It's a blend of faith, legend, and national identity. For centuries, Ethiopians have revered the Ark, viewing it as a symbol of their unique connection to the ancient Israelites. So, why does this story still captivate us? Perhaps, it's the blend of history and legend, or the idea that a sacred relic could have such a profound impact on a nation's identity. Whatever the reason, the tale of the Ark of the Covenant's journey remains one of the most intriguing stories in the annals of history. And there you have it, folks. From the grandeur of Solomon's temple to the sacred grounds of Aksum, the Ark of the Covenant's journey is a testament to the enduring power of faith and legend. If you enjoyed this dive into history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating tales from the past. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of history. Subscribe to I Just Ask The Mindset.